dealing in shares. Buying shares of a company. Before buying shares of any, make sure that the following four conditions are fulfilled. First condition, kind of business. The company must not engage in any unlawful kind of business or activities. Examples of unlawful businesses or activities are interest, insurance, and gambling. Second condition, assets. The company must not comprise of only liquid assets, but should also have fixed assets, such as buildings, plants, or machinery. Otherwise, shares should not be purchased. Third condition, rebar free funds. Companies are usually involved in two types of interest-based transaction. They take interest-based loans to increase funds, or they deposit their surplus in interest-bearing accounts. According to Sharia scholars, it is not permissible to purchase the shares of a company who is engaged in interest-based dealings. Fourth condition, elimination of rebar income. If, due to an unavoidable reason, a person got a dividend of such a company, it is necessary for him to investigate and find the income of the company that is based on rebar, and that amount must be deducted and should be given to charity. Origin of shares In the past, there used to be shirka or partnership between a few people. However, in the last three centuries, its new form came into existence. This new form of partnership is called a joint stock company, which is owned by shareholders. Shares may be defined as a ratio of ownership which the shareholder has got in the assets of a company. For example, Ali decides to become a partner of a company, and he purchases 10,000 out of its total 1 lakh shares. A certificate of 10,000 shares is issued to Ali against his payment, and so Ali becomes the partial or 10% owner of that company. With that ownership, Ali also becomes the 10% owner of the assets of that company. Shares floats in the market and invites people to purchase them. Any person who purchases the shares actually participates in the business of that company, and he enters a shirker contract with that company. Objectives of Stock Markets The first objective, investment. Many people purchase company shares for investment purposes. Their main purpose is to become the shareholder of the company and receive its dividend. Second objective, gain capital. Other people buy shares when they estimate that share value of a company is likely to increase. They sell them to earn profits once the price has increased. Such investors do not intend to become a shareholder and earn dividends. So in that case, shares are considered as a kind of commodity for trading. Here are some forms of such trading and their permissibility in Sharia. Sale without possession. Sometimes people buy shares and then sell them onward without taking their delivery. However, Sharia doesn't permit selling of a thing onward prior to taking its possession. Regarding the possession of shares, it is important to understand that a share certificate is a piece of paper. The actual share is one's ownership in a company and the one that becomes the owner of the share and can sell it only after the risk has been transferred to him. Bartering It is commonly practiced to buy and sell shares. Bartering is also a way of financing, which is not permissible in Sharia for the stock market. Zakath on shares Shares are usually purchased for two purposes, to gain capital and to earn dividends. Zakath payable on shares is depending on the purpose of its purchase. Number 1. When shares are purchased to gain capital. If a person buys shares only to sell them onward and gain some capital, and not for yearly dividends, then Zakath will be paid on the market price of those shares. For example, Bilal purchases a share of a company to gain capital. The market price of that share is $100. Since the share was purchased for capital gain, it is considered as a commodity for trading. So, Bilal will pay 2.5% Zakath on $100. Number 2. When shares are purchased to earn dividends. Suppose a person buys shares with an objective to earn a yearly dividend. In this case, Zakath is payable on that part of the market price of shares, which stands against those company assets on which Zakath is payable. For example, Ali purchases a share of a company to earn the yearly dividend. The market price of that share is $100. Out of that $100, $60 stands against the assets, such as building, office equipment, and machinery. 
and $40 stands against raw materials, finished products, and cash. Since only $40 stands against the assets on which Sakath is payable, Ali will pay 2.5% Sakath on $40 only, and no Sakath is payable on the $60. Ames is a globally recognized and an accredited institution. We offer certifications, diploma, MBA, and PhD programs in Islamic banking and finance through an online and self-paced learning system. For registration and details, please visit www.ames.education. Here is the summary of this chapter. Shares are the ratio of ownership which the shareholders have got in the company. One must not purchase the shares if the company conducts any unlawful business. Before buying the shares, four factors must be considered. The kind of business, assets, rebar-free funds, and elimination of rebar income. People purchase shares either to earn dividends or to gain capital. It is not permissible in Sharia to sell something prior to taking its possession, and bartering of shares is not permissible by Sharia.